I can talk to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. I'm Pennywise and I do howl. <laughs> Are you from the circus? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Do you want your ball back? Uh, I, I, I'm gonna get it, buddy. And today we are going to be reviewing <laughs> it. 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 If you have cholerophobia, uh -huh. if you have cholerophobia, please do not burden yourself by committing psychiatric damage permanently <laughs> and seeing this movie. I definitely don't think the that. clowns are the scariest part of this movie. Pennywise is pretty freaky. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of laughed at some Dude. of the scenes. Especially where he's like, where he's like Pennywise is a clown. I wish Jig. He got less scary the more they showed him. Yeah, I agree. Maybe that's I didn't the find point. him that scary. That is true, because like the kids got less scared of him over time. Because he feeds on their fear. We, we need forgot to, like, to describe the plot. The plot. <laughs> a a clown torments these How poor kids. kids. Yes. That's the story. It was the 60s in yeah. the book. When it goes to modern day in the second half, it's the 80s. And so I guess they're trying to put a modern twist on it by having the first half be in huh. the 80s so that the modern time will be 2015. 2015! Maybe. <laughs> there were a lot of funny scenes in this movie. Like, the kids were hilarious. I think they did a good job of layering comic relief with all of mm -hmm. the frightening or, yeah. jump scares and images. Because mm -hmm. it made the kids seem like real people. They cussed quite a bit, which was funny. As Stephen King even says, he said that the bully, what was his name? Henry. Henry. Henry, Henry. is the Henry most- Henry was f***ed up. He's the most yeah. evil character he that he's crazy. ever written. And Spoilers are- Spoilers! Okay, yeah. Go to the time code at the bottom of the screen. Yes. There's nothing here currently, but I'm gonna add it in during editing. I felt like they totally wasted Henry's storyline. Apparently in the books, he stays alive and he's blamed for the murders. Maybe but he survived. They okay. give him his own subplot, like two thirds into the movie, and then they just kill him. I, I don't know if he's dead. I thought he was gonna ever. pop up at the end and he's But dead. he fell like a uh, hundred feet into the bottom of a well. But uh, it wasn't a real well. I mean, everyone has been saying that this movie is not scary. I disagree. I disagree as well. Stan was afraid of this painting that has a distorted woman on it. Oh, it was terrifying. And it comes to life. It yeah. reminded me of the other mother from Coraline. Or the scream. And Pennywise yeah. like opened his mouth. Uh, but like back to me. Okay. People have been saying that this movie is not scary like at all. Even if it doesn't scare you personally, it's a perfect blend of every form of horror that you could have. Because it has jump yeah. scares, it has gore, suspense, dread and just uncomfortableness. Oh, yeah. And I think you can't fault it for at least trying mm. and including all of those yeah, things. Yeah, this movie can be very unsettling at times. Attempted Pretty child disturbing. rape. I had been informed before I went to this movie that there was some pedophilia in it, and I was like, yeah. oh, okay, because they had told me about the like Carl Kent and Lois Lane comment with the drugstore cashier. Then that happened, and I was like, okay, that's the extent of this. And then, boy, was I shocked and horrified. <laughs> I think horror is really the genre that it fits into because there's a lot of gore, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's the most Poor iconic Georgie scene lost of his yes. the movie. They did never showed that in the 90s, but in this one, they I'm showed sure it lost his arm. I was like, oh my god. Oh There's no, when he kept like, reappearing in his coat with no, his brother, I was like... Too. Brad? I float down here, and what? you'll float too. No. Uh, you'll float too. Brad. You'll float too! No. You'll float too! <laughs> Molly, what were you gonna yeah, say? Yeah, I was gonna say the most iconic scene, like from the original It, is where the blood comes up out of the faucet. I thought that was really well done in this movie. It was, mm -hmm. and I think that that really drawed in the horror because it was like the hair coming out, and that just—I yeah. thought that was yeah. disgusting. Hi, Paige. Who is that? Josh Elliott. Oh, really? Come with us, Paige. We all float down here. Okay, uh, just one second. I'll, I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh well. So much brutality happening to that. Yeah. But I liked that because it <laughs> well, just yeah, made it all the, the more same. horrifying. I love this. 
think it's slashed he across got, his chest. And then like, Eddie breaks his arm, and they have to snap it, is, it back into place. Yeah, Eddie was my favorite character. Oh my he god, was, his pressure. Yeah. He would like pull out his inhaler, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, it's me. Because I have a lot of medical issues myself, and I'm like, oh god, that'd be me. I know I've already talked about this, but I have to say it for the review, just so when it happens in the later movie, I can get credit for predicting it. Eddie is gay. I'm calling it. Favorite he wears those pink polo shirts. And he has a rainbow patch on his shorts. And he has some really mm -hmm. weird mommy issues too, because yeah. his mom in the book yeah. has a sexual attraction to him and always keeps mm. him inside. What's That's... the opposite of the Oedipus complex? My then bad. Then Wolfhard did a really good job as well. Yes. Yeah. And the girl. She was very good. I liked her. She reminded me of Peter Pan. Hmm. I'll throw my two cents in there. If I were to say there was a weak link in the cast, I can't remember the name of the black kid, but I feel like they oh, underused yeah. him. They mentioned that his parents die in a fire, and then they're just like, oh yeah, his yeah, parents died in a fire. Yeah. Oh, and then they like casually mentioned that like Henry wished it was him that had burnt down their house, so yeah, I think it was like, like arson mm -hmm. related, and I'm just assuming it was race related because and of the way Henry yeah. was acting with it. It was like, we don't need your kind in town. They could have dived more into that backstory mm -hmm. and used him a lot. Oh more. yeah, because he didn't have too much dialogue, and that was a little mm -hmm. disappointing because Really yeah, and I like his like sheep gun. So. I want to talk about my favorite scene in this movie. It has to do with Georgie, like his ghost or whatever, haunting Bill's character. Bill Basically, was so good. Uh, he's like, "Take me home. I want you to come home, but you're not Georgie." And he <laughs> kills him. And then you're like, yeah. "Oh shit!" Yep. Was, was he Georgie. actually killed. His but then he starts. Oh my gosh! Yeah. How horrific would it be as a parent to watch <laughs> your little boy, his little <laughs> dead body there, then start to convulse <laughs> and turn into Wait, a cloud? Yeah, Georgie's parents are watching this and seeing their little boy like sprout. <laughs> <in arms. laughs> that was horrific. That no, was but there was a horrific. good like ten seconds in the theater where I thought he actually killed Georgie. I'm oh, disappointed Josh. that Ben. Ben just got to kiss Beverly, and then you didn't get together with her in the yeah. end. Yeah. Bill gets her. Oh, I that reminds like the kiss at the end where she had her slit in her yeah. and just like, there's <laughs> blood Oh, all that's another face. thing that I like, had an issue care. with. They oh. all slit their, oh Hold my on. gosh, okay. So one kid, I think it was Finn's character, where he was like, there's an AIDS epidemic going around, you don't want to touch her, what if you get AIDS? And then they all slit and their palms. I thought the exact hand. same thing. I said, this is the 80s. It chapter two is just a documentary about the AIDS epidemic, because they all die of AIDS. I was so f***ing triggered when at the end it said it and then all of a sudden it said chapter one. Fun fact, it has been 27 years since the first It movie came out. We need yeah. to review that one. When part two comes out, I'm pretty sure that all of us will yeah. be split up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be going to college somewhere. We here, won't be so. in <laughs> high school. I'll be a college out film of college nerd. film nerds, adult film nerds. Yes. <laughs> yeah, young adult film nerds. Final verdicts. So, Molly I'm hated it so wait, much that she's like, yeah. Molly hated this movie. Zero out of ten. Yeah. Next, Josh. There were only three problems I had with this movie. <laughs> I feel like Henry's subplot was a little wasted. The kids continued to separate themselves, even though they all knew that they were stronger when they were together. I've seen this movie twice, and I still don't know how Stan got separated from them in the Stan's sewers. Stan's just a little weird of a guy. Yeah. The third thing I was gonna say was that it's a little too long, but we got to spend more time with the characters. That's true. So, yeah, I agree. This is like a really well-made horror movie, and even if you don't personally find it scary, you have to at least admit that they did a good job at making it scary. The child actors were amazing. Great. It was amazingly shot. Great production oh, yeah. design, costume design. Everyone in this movie clearly cared about it, and mm -hmm. they wanted to make it good, and I thought that they really paid off, so I'm gonna give it an eight. My um, favorite character was Blowtorch Roderick from oh, Diary God, of a yes. Wimpy Kid. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick! He looks like Roderick from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Blowtorch! Blowtorch! My final consensus would probably be a eight. When I saw the first trailer for this movie, I was like, okay, I have to see this. I have not seen a lot of horror movies in the majority of my life. And honestly, going into this one, I want to see more because I really like this movie. I really like the story. I really like the comedic relief. The characters were great. There were great moments. There were sad moments. And I just had a blast in this movie. I definitely didn't cover my eyes in some of the scenes. BT Dobbs, I'm wearing but, Edward Scissorhands, the true uh -huh. scary movie. There have been like a lot of crappy horror movies in our generation. I think <laughs> this one is actually really stands out and I thought it was really good. So I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. But I did find Get Out to be one of the best. Get Out was great. Get Out, Get out was good. I never saw Get Out. I liked Get Out more than it because I liked it, more. it could happen more. The kids were talking about how the clown epidemic was going on 
while they were filming. The guy that played Ben had an app on his phone that like found clowns nearby you. <laughs> oh yeah, there's one a couple feet away from yeah. us. <laughs> um, this, this one's right on top of those oh guys. It's, it's like right. ghost There's tracker. a clown among us. <laughs> Which one of you is it? Anyways, okay, so my final verdict. I tend to be a little bit of a scaredy cat with a lot of things. I get really? scared really easily. I didn't get scared by this movie, but I didn't cover my eyes. But I covered my ears. That's like, what Abby yes. does when she gets scared. She did Same that during here. 47 meters down. I remember. She I, covered I her ears. Cover my ears. I think sounds scare me a lot more than yeah. like images. I'll like drop to a ground if I hear something loud that resembles a gunshot. Yeah. I'll oh, yeah. drop, I'll hit the ground and cover my head. So anytime it'd be yeah. like, I could hear the suspense music building up, I'd be like, oh, here wait. it comes, here suspense it comes. music wait. is really yeah. scary. Like, that bathroom scare. I told Josh before the movie started, I'm going to keep my interjections and outbursts yeah. to a minimum. But when all of a sudden it just comes out oh, and grabs yeah. her by the throat after she <laughs> I said, oh sh <laughs> I remember seeing that in the trailer and I was so like, much. okay, I'm going to go oh into this movie God. and I have to remember that that's going to be a jump scare in this movie. And I, I didn't expect unaware. it to happen at that point. So I was like, oh, oh I think the best jump scares are the ones that like sway you in the wrong direction where you think oh, yeah. the danger is somewhere else, but then it turns out that it's oh. actually there. But I think it scared me just enough for me to be like, this was a scary movie, but it, I also liked the characters enough to be invested in their lives and in the story. So I think it did a, a very good job covering all the bases and hitting yeah. a bunch of different yeah. things. I'll give it an 8.5 as well. So our final verdict is an 8. Point two five. So, Alrighty then. That is a so solid what did you piece. think about it? About what? It? Did yeah. you like it? it? Did you about not what's like it? it? About like what? Want to comment? Um, it. Talk like about and subscribe. Chop it down below. <laughs> and peace out. Next time for high school film. And if you comment, sorry, Josh, you I will this out. Eat movie. your toes. Comment <laughs> yeah. your favorite horror movie because I want to. Don't be scary. Don't rape your daughter. Bill, what's that? Uh, Bill, are you doing that? Bill, turn it off! Turn it off, Bill! You're still there. <laughs> <laughs>